Nice to meet you. I'm Elf Kid, and um, um you. You look like you had glitter on you or something. Anyway, I welcome to the toy station. Um, this is actually my little fort <laughs> that I have the toys in um so okay <laughs> let me first introduce you to a friend that has been my friend for many years working here this is Snoopy my snow friend um he's a little discoloured because he's been here for so long I love him really, he's my little, my little guy. Have you met Elf Nerd? Yeah? Oh, she's my sister. Yeah, she's my big sister and um, we share the same love for inanimate objects or what people call inanimate objects, what I call animate objects, so just a heads up if you think that's a little strange, but anyway, um, okay, this is Snoopy, um, he's really great. we do are the normal cuddly ones. Um, this is my friend Orangu and um, he's really, oh, he's so soft and cuddly and um, you know I make all these by hand. I can make one of these guys in five minutes without using a sewing machine I just use my hands because I'm really quick which is awesome isn't it um so you have something to live up to <laughs> no pressure <laughs> but I am the best so um he's a cute little guy isn't he he's got um velcro on his hands as well So that's a rangi. And we got a few other cuddlies. Two seconds. Can't reach the little turd. Okay, it's fine. Fine, I got him. 
um, this is another monkey because I really like monkeys. He's got beans in him, just in his hands and feet. on my wick. Forts on all they're cracked up to be, really. <sighs> Gee whiz. Right. Anyway. This might seem a little weird, but I was just experimenting. I was just playing around really, and um, I came up with this little weirdo. God damn it. So. <laughs> what do you think of her? Which is really amazing. Oh, it's just all up in my head. Oh, that's not good. No, um, I don't do my work in here because, as you can see, it's got a few problems. So. Yeah, she was just to, to scare everyone that works here, really. I'll brush her hair up. Look at her, she's wild. She's like one of their mum funny little trolls you can get. What do you think? I think she looks good. 
So you can also have fun on this station, really. Just make really weird, like, creepy things. <laughs> kind of like her in a weird way, though. And I know you do too, I can tell by the... You know, I can just tell, you know, who wouldn't love that face? But... Anyway. Moving swiftly on, um, another beanie thing, I love making uh, beanie things, because I think they're pretty cool, oh, there we go. She's called Apple. Um, I used to call her Granny Smith because she looked like that kind of green Granny Smith apple. But I thought apple was cuter. rather warm now. Oh, being under this fort, that's what it is. We've got something that, because you've heard of a Rubik's cube, have you? I thought I'd make a noughts and crosses cube. thought that would be quite fun. And that kind of worked. Except the stickers keep coming off. Which is disappointing. Too many people cheating, that's what it is, pulling all the stickers off and putting them back. Probably that damn Santa Claus. He might look really jolly, but he's a cheater. Do you know that? Like when we're playing Monopoly on Christmas Eve. He cheats, I'm telling you. He really does. Some of the soddiest. And then he eats all the mince pies before any of us can get any. No wonder he's so damn fat. Don't tell him I said that, will you, please? I don't want him to fire me. <laughs> oh, Christ. That would be sad, wouldn't it? There's another one that fell off, gosh. Right. No. Personally, one of my favourite games. I'm going to take this off. As cute as it is, it's getting on my nerves. never heard of it for some reason. It's one of our most classic games. It's 
so you probably have heard of it. It's basically you stick this creepy looking fella in it. I could push that down. Oh, I can't. him in there then and get a bunch of swords and you stab him no you don't and you stab swords in there and then eventually when you see It then, you do enough, get it in the right place, and he pops. And that is why he's called Pop Pop Pirate. Because he's a pirate and he pops up. So, let me just put them away. I don't like mess really. Although it's quite messy at the moment, but you know. Tomatoes, tomatoes. conditions <sighs> scrabble this is a junior one so if you've got any kids or you're a bit thick you can use the junior one get pieces of paper where you write down your scores and everything um, then this is the board This is the board you get. Oh, sodding thing. It's got pictures on it. So you get kind of, it makes it a bit easier. Well, I don't know why really, because it says the words there anyway. So you just pop down. So A, for example, would go on A, maybe A for axe, um, and we get counters, like this one, to do scores, and see who's win, because, who's won rather, because there's no point in playing if no one's a winner, is there? I'm just kidding, I don't like, you know, the whole competitive thing, but I do love winning quite a lot.
the back is a weird one. I didn't really know what I was doing. I think I was just colouring in squares and writing numbers down. So, kind of, you know, if it doesn't make sense to you, it doesn't make sense to me, so. Christmas. All uh, wrapped up really. Um, do you want the tinsel? Do you want some on? I have it we share actually because it's quite long. So if I sort my life out first. Sort my den out and then we can get all tinseled up. I'm quite busy so I've got to get back to work making more toys. Thank you for visiting me, it was really nice to see you and I hope you get on well. Okay, bye!